Well, thanks for joining us. This is the what now. Let's begin in. Um, let's begin with our focus on the Russia-Ukraine war. The war between Russia and Ukraine is now over 500 days old, and the battle is still raging between both sides. The United Nations says over 9,000 civilians have been killed in the war, as all hearts yearn globally for an end to it. Now, still marking Ukraine's steps closely, Russia says it will be monitoring talks between President Zelensky and the Turkish leader later today. We have a package. The United Nations says more than 9,000 civilians, including over 500 children, have been killed since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began in February 2022. The UN also warns that the true number of fatalities could be much higher than what has been confirmed. According to the UN, May and June have seen an increase in the number of civilians killed after a deadline in civilian fatalities in the first four months of the year. This comes as the Prime Minister of the Czech Republic, Peter Fiala, pledges that the Republic will provide Ukraine with combat helicopters and assist Kyiv with the training of F-16 fighter jet pilots. The Prime Minister says under the arrangement, the training will take place not just in the West, but in Ukraine as well. Mr. Fiala also says the Czech Republic has already sent 676 pieces of heavy equipment and over 4 million pieces of medium and large caliber ammunition to Ukraine. The United States is also expected to send cluster munitions to Ukraine for the first time as part of a new aid package. But the Human Rights Watch is warning that nations should stop sending cluster bombs to Russia and Ukraine to ensure the safety of civilians who end up bearing the brunt of the aftermath of their usage. On the flip side, a report by the German think tank says, despite promises by Ukraine's big arms donors, including the United States, Germany and the United Kingdom to supply weapons to it, they are falling short of their pledges, even as Ukrainian forces need them urgently. The report also says, Pledges of new aid for the Ukrainian government decreased during the period covered by the reports, which is the 25th of February to the 31st of May. For more on the lingering war, I am now being joined by the Director General, Bolitak Center for International Diplomacy and Strategic Studies, Professor Bola Akinterowa. Good to have you join us, Prof. So, Prof, we understand that um, Ukrainian President uh, Volodymyr Zelensky is on a whistle. Thank you for having me today. All right, Prof. I, I was saying that, you know, um, what we know now is that there are reports that the um, President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, is making stops at NATO states, um, and that's before the Western Military Alliance um, meetings in Lithuania um, next week. Do you think that he will get the necessary support um, to become a part of the alliance? The answer can be yes, and it can as well be no. And, and, and what, what will make it yes, what will make it no? The hope, you know, the NATO All right, Prof, we seem to be having a um, network challenge with you there. We'll see if we can reconnect so we can have a better output. Thank you so much, Prof.